I remember what it was like when I first came to Canada, armed with a university degree and lots of enthusiasm, uh, only to find out that I did not have Canadian experience. So the question is, how do you come here with some knowledge or some skill, no Canadian experience, but how do you build that up quickly so you could find a job or start a business in the country? So to help, I'm going to give you six steps that you can do to help you quickly find work or set up your business in Canada. Here we go. Okay, the first step is to show and tell, and that's build your portfolio or build your social media presence. So go to LinkedIn, go to Facebook and set it up, set it up like it's a business, set it up so that when people come and take a look, they understand that you're a professional as opposed to someone who's just trying to play around. After you've set up your profile, the next step is to give first. So this is where you share your knowledge to demonstrate authority. Add helpful tips on LinkedIn and social media. You can create YouTube videos, Instagram posts to help people solve problems. This is how you demonstrate in Canada that you have experience. Number three is to network, network, network. So in Halifax, we have groups like Halifax Connect, business events, incubation meetings, conferences, online webinars. Take advantage of all opportunities to connect. And after the event, make sure to reach out and summarize meeting notes and lessons and thank the people who you connected with. Take time to nurture your connections. You can do this by finding ways to help the people who you connected with solve problems that they have based on the skills that you have. This leads to number four, which is build your Canadian work experience. So you take the people who you met in the networking events. You can volunteer to help these people or businesses solve problems that showcase your strength and skills. In essence, you're helping people and businesses solve problems. You're doing this and building Canadian experience, which you can put on your resume. The fifth one is to continuously educate yourself. Now, upgrade your skills to ones in demand. Learn and practice presentation skills. That's very important. So take advantage of groups like Toastmasters, speak up at networking events, watch YouTube videos to improve your presentation skills. Do whatever it takes to get yourself comfortable enough to present. I say, those who can present, win. The sixth step is to embrace AI. I know to some people, AI sounds like it's this big, challenging, you know, scary thing, but it's just another tool and another tool that can help you work more effectively and also increase your productivity exponentially. So watch videos and go on channels that help you learn how to use AI more effectively. Learn prompting. Prompting is the art of telling AI what to do by giving it the right commands. The better the commands you give, the better the results you get. So prompt engineering, it's a big thing. Uh, I think that if you do not take time to learn it, you're going to get left behind. So whether you're new to Canada, trying to find a job, or you've been in Canada for a while and you're trying to get into the job market. Do these six things and you will find it a lot easier to get a job, start a business, or expand your existing business using the networking skills and your ability to help people and businesses solve problems.